hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we're going to look at uh, uh, the measures of central tendency and you're going to uh, look at uh, median so in the last row we looked at uh, mean uh, in this row we're going to look at median and mode and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be done on the three basic uh, uh, measures of central tendency so you're going to look at first that with uh, median so median is the middle value of a da given data set whenever, whenever i have a data set you first arrange the data set in an order using order statistics you either arrange it uh, in ascending order or descending order so after arranging it in uh, uh, any order whether ascending or descending you find the the value that the, the the rank the value at the rank that divides the data set into two different equal parts so that's what uh, 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 uh median is all about median is also called the 50 percentile and in the future videos we'll look at percentile and uh, the reason why it's called the 50 percentile will all make sense to you so now let's go uh, look ahead and see how we can calculate a uh, median uh, using uh, uh, using uh, numpy but first let's look at an example of a median so for example i have this set of numbers five six uh, seven eight and nine you can see these orders these numbers are ordered right so now what is the median of these values the median is a, is a value that divides these two uh, this number this data set into two equal halves so you can see on this side we have two values and this side we have two values so the, the number at the middle is called the median that's what the median is. It divides the data set into two equal halves. We have two on the left and then two on the on the uh, on the right, right? And so this in the middle the value is called uh, the median value, the median of a data set. So let's look at another example. What if you have two values at the middle position? For example, here we have this value uh, here. Uh, let's say we divide this is two values. Um, this is three on this side and this is three on this, uh, two on this side, right? So we have uh we have a uh, two on this side two on this side right we have two on this side and then we have two on this side so there are three there are two numbers in the middle that divide this value right so that is seven and eight right so how do you find the median in this case so in this case what you simply do is that you find the average of seven and eight so we add seven and eight together that will give us 15 and then 15 divided by two that will make it to be 7.5 so if there are whatever numbers that make up them uh, in find the middle we just uh, sum up the, sum them up and then you divide by the total number so if basically just find the mean of it so if you're not mean is you can go and watch it last tutorial where we discuss what mean was so that's how you can find a median in uh using the manual way now let's see how we can do this here using a uh, number uh, uh, numpy so i'll go ahead and actually create a new notepad uh, to a notebook and i'll call it uh, min uh, sorry median and mode i'll just call it median uh median this is median and uh, median underscore mode let's call it like that so in here we're going to import the libraries that we're going to use we're going to import numpy uh, as NP, right? We're importing NumPy as NP, sorry, as NP. And then you're also going to, uh, yeah, we only need NumPy for this. So create data, and then this will be just be NumPy dot uh, arrange. I want to create a range of values. So I want to create values starting from, uh, starting from, uh, maybe I'll start creating values starting from um, 20 to 200. I want a step of 20, right? This we did in the last tutorial. So I need to data, and then I can print that. We have this data set right here. So it consists of nine values. So nine values. So there'll be, uh, we can divide it into four on one side and four on the other side. So when we have a, uh, a, an odd number, you just get one middle value, right? Because of, for example, nine, we have four on one side and four on one side, that to be eight, and then the middle value will be the one that makes it nine so if you have an odd number you can just get one value for the median as the middle value if you have uh, an even number like for example four then the middle value will be two so you need to define the average of these two value middle values okay so you can just do data dot data dot me median and then run that so this will return to as uh, i got an error that's why uh, i can find the median so uh, okay so let me just do uh, numpy dot uh, median and then in here passing data and then run the so so you have the median right here so the median is 100 so let's try to do this so one two three four let's look first look at the size of this so we just do the length and then we pass in the data this will check the length so we have nine values there so we should have four on one side and four on one side and then have one in the middle so one two three four right 
one two three four so we have 100 there so we have the minimum value as 100 that's perfectly right so let's do another one call it x and then do mp dot uh, arrange we want to start from 10 to maybe 25 steps of three so we can do x and then we have uh, that value so we cannot let's do the length of x to see how many values we have we have five right this is an uh, let's try to create an even number so let's make it 20 uh, 20 uh, let's make it 29 see yeah we have 7 which is also an odd number let's make it 28 uh, yeah we have 6 which is an even number now we have an even number uh, we have 2 on this side and 2 on this side so the median will be the average of these two right so we can just do mp dot uh, median uh, and then we can do passing x so run that so and then we have uh, we have uh, 17 point uh, 17 17.5 which is the uh, 16 uh, plus um, we can just do it here 16 uh, plus sorry this is actually uh, 16 so this would be 1 6 uh, 1 6 sorry 1 6 uh, plus uh, 1 9 which is 1 9 and then we want uh, the answer by uh, put this in parentheses and then we divide it by 2 and we run that we get back 7.9 so that's how we get get the mania the median of that data set so that's how you can calculate median using that formula okay so now that we have done that let's go ahead and, and actually uh start uh going over the mode so now you have look at median and it's just the middle value okay so uh let's move on um, to here here so we can go over the mode so the mode is the number with the highest count their number with the highest frequency in the data this is within the data set so for example i have this data set right of numbers right here right so what is the mode in this data set so the mode is one because one is the most frequently occurring number so let's prove this let's go let's see how we can do this in numpy so we just call it uh np uh, let's call it uh y which is just be np dot uh our uh, uh let's create uh array and then you need to pass in a python list so let's pass in a list and now paste in the numbers that i have copied from there so now that we have that y value within uh within a numpy array let's go and hide and actually import one more library so let's scroll up here and then uh, up here we uh, in python we usually import our libraries on the very first line so uh you can import it anywhere uh, anywhere in the line in the code but it's just like a uh, best practice to put it up so that you can always refer to the libraries that you are using so we're going to import uh let's say from from a uh, scipy remember we saw the library called scipy import uh start so we're going to import that so now we move up down here and then we just say uh starts dot uh, mod and then we pass in y so run this all and then we can see the mode is actually uh the mode is actually a uh, mode array is actually just one so we have one there and that is the mode of the data so let's try to make a three let's include a bunch of trees in here so we move up here and then we make it three 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 yeah we make run that and then we can see the mode now is three because three is the most frequently occurring number so that's how we can find mode and median using a uh, so number in python okay uh, using a numpy and uh, scipy okay so what is the best measure we have looked at the three most, most common as uh, central te tendencies measures right so now let's look what when to use mean when to use mode and when to use median so whenever you have a normal distribution right we'll talk about normal distribution in the future but if you have a normal distribution like this bell cave data distribution uh the more the median and the uh sorry the mean the the, uh, the median and the mode are all equal okay if you have a whenever you have a normal distribution which we'll talk about in the tutorial in the future tutorials then you can use any of the three because they'll be equal when you have a skewed data data that is not normally distributed you have the the best thing to do is not to include uh is uh, the best thing to do is actually to use the uh is to use the mean the me the median of the data okay so because median is uh, robust and it is a uh, uh, what mean what it means is in, what i mean by robust in statistics that it, it is not sensitive to extreme values when you have a skewed data there's there some data that may be way way off right just extreme values so this uh median if you use mean mean is very sensitive to these values so more, uh, mean is not robust but median is robust and uh, for this reason um, median can be used for uh for skewed data okay so you can also use mode for this because mode the uh, the value won't uh, won't affect mode for example i have this data set here one two three four and five right and then i change five to become uh to become sorry these are actually commas right uh, just change this right here 
uh, sorry for that change this it should be commas and not uh, not uh, decimal point so uh, run that so we can see we have this data set here one two three four five right so one two three four five and then I have written the same data set and I've only replaced five with thirty okay now tell me the mean or uh, the main the, the median the median here the median is just three right the middle value we did uh, three right now even if I change five to become thirty which is way way off right but you can see the median is still thirty so this is what I mean by being robust it is not sensitive to uh to extreme values so when we have uh, when we have a skewed data like this data right, it is positive skew right most of the uh, the 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 extreme values are to the uh, to the positive side so this is a data this is this type of data mod is the best uh, thing to use uh because you can it does not have an effect on mod right mod will always be mod even if the the, the values sway way bad uh, like we have extreme values in our data so when you have a uh, uh, ordinal data, the best measure to use is uh, mod or the median, right? Again, you can use mod and median for uh, ordinal data. And we talk about ordinal data in the second tutorial of this series. And ordinal data is this categorical data that has sense of ordering. The best thing to use is to use a median and the mod for this kind of data set. So we've already looked at ordin ordinal data set, as I said. So yeah, that's what to, uh, I wanted us to cover in this tutorial. So in the next tutorial, we will start looking at estimates of variability. So this is actually an error var varia, uh, variability. Okay, I will change that. So in the next tutorial, this is what to be looking at. In the next tutorial, look at error estimates of variability. And then from there, I'll look at uh, the standard deviation, deviation range, um, uh, mean absolute uh, deviation and stuff like that. So this is what to be looking at in the next tutorial. You can, if you find this tutorial helpful, please kindly leave this tutorial, uh, drop a like uh, on this tutorial. And then leave a comment in the comment section why you like this video if you hate this video give it a like dislike and then leave a give it, give it a thumbs down leave a comment why you hate the video you don't like the video and give any feedback on what i can do to improve uh, this series as so it can be uh, beneficial to you guys so yeah thanks for watching uh, again if you have not to subscribe to my channel please kindly hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to be uh, notified whenever i upload new videos guys Please kindly support my channel. This is one of the ways I can make even much, much better tutorials than this. So thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Keep safe.